<laughs> oh, petu bension. <laughs> oh, petu oh, bension. That is to say, <laughs> we cannot interpret them for robo. Petu bension. What did you expect from the meeting of the Council of Elders of States? <laughs> All the former presidents, uh, all the governors gathered, uh, apart from Babangida, apart from Obasanjo, they gathered and gave a vote of confidence to Tinibu, President Tinibu. What did you <laughs> expect? What did you expect? Number one, nearly every person present in that hall where they met are collaborators and contributors to the problems we have in this country. Nearly every person are collaborators, contributors to the problems we have in this country. Any person present there is a collaborator, a contributor to the problems we have in this country. So what did you expect from them? What did you expect from them? To, to say what? Are they, are, they, are they more innocent than Tinibu? They are the, the, some of them are the cause of the problems that Tinibu inherited. It's simple. This chair is designed like this. If I turn around and sit and face the other direction, People will know that I'm crazy, that uh, that's not the way to sit. If people had set down a nation that functions in a particular way, it would have been very difficult for Tinibu to come and just suddenly want to change everything. When I talk about America, some of you who are resident in America, you think you have more common sense than me. The battle between Donald Trump and the other Republicans in his own party, is that these are the values we have held dear in this country. Don't come and change it suddenly with your own attitude. It is true that the Democrats have some bizarre policies that do not agree with our faith. But this is what we stand for as conservatives. So Donald, you can't just come with bizarre attitude. No. Elections have never been rigged in America. This is the way things go. And that's the problem they're having in the, uh, in the current campaigns. That's simple. So did you expect... I, I don't attend meetings as a policy. I hardly ever attend meetings. The only the meetings I was attending, church committee meetings, at one time, they removed my name. Because you, it is very difficult to reason with Nigerians. It's very difficult to reason with Nigerians. Extremely difficult. It's anywhere their, their belly faces. That's where their brain also faces. Anywhere their belly faces. Anywhere their belly gets food from. That's where they... Anywhere their belly and their mouth gets benefit. They don't reason outside their mouth and their belly. Finish. And then maybe in between their legs. That stupid animal in between their legs. If you bring bishops there, they will say the same thing. If you bring uh, traditional rulers there, they will say the same thing. These uh, judicial officers, they just increase their salaries. If you carry them there, they will say the same thing. You carry student leaders there. They will say the same thing. Say the same thing. So, I wasn't expecting anything different. The voices of reason in this country are so few, if not for social media, so silent that corruption, uh, oppression, deprivation, backwardness, poverty, illiteracy, it's having a field day. 
But a day is coming. A day is coming. We want to know who owns the land. We want to know who owns the land. A day is coming. We will know who owns this country. I have a seminar coming up on the 13th and on the 14th of September. It is tagged Sustainable Development in Life, Career, Business, and Ministry. Please send a WhatsApp message to plus 234-7052-136763. It is an online seminar, so don't ask me for the venue. It's an online seminar. And I have properties for sale. God bless you. I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. We grandfathers who have messed up this country and messed up our consciences. God will help us.